हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑन माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स डीजे गणित इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन इम्पॉर्टेंट कंटिन्यूस प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नोन एज नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो द नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वन इन ऑल ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड स्टोटिस्टिक्स मैनी न्यूमरिकल पॉपुलेशन हैव डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट कैन बी फिट वेरी क्लोजली by an approximate normal curve examples includes heights weights and other physical characteristics we know that height weights etc are continuous random variables so they can be uh, considered as non normal random variable other examples are measurement errors in scientific experiments reaction times in psychological experiments measurements of intelligence and aptitude scores on various tests and numerous economic measures and indicators so there are many uh, real world applications of this uh, important normal distribution normal distribution is also known as gaussian distribution so first we define what is normal random variable so it is a continuous random variable so a random variable capital x is said to have a normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma square where mu is any real number and sigma is positive real number if the probability density function of x is given by this fx equal to 1 over sigma square root of 2 pi e to the power minus 1 half times square of x minus mu upon sigma and the domain of f is set of all real numbers it is defined for each real number x so this mu and sigma are nothing but parameters of this uh, normal distribution and uh, this uh, no, random variable capital x whose pdf is given by this formula is known as normal random variable and if if we want to write this shortly x is normally distributed with parameters mu and sigma square can be shortly written by this notation capital n in the bracket mu sigma square this means x is a normal random variable with parameters mu and sigma square we can prove that if x is a normal random variable with parameters mu and sigma square then mean or expected value of x is mu and variance of x is sigma square that means the parameters of normal distribution are nothing but mean and variance of the normal distribution now if we talk about graph of this function or the density curve of this probability density function then it is going to be symmetric curve because of this parabolic nature or quadratic nature of this function fx the density curve of this function fx is symmetric about this x equal to mu line so for different values of mu we will have different density curves of this probability density function so for each value of mu the graph of fx is a symmetric curve and it will look like a bell shaped curve so it is symmetric about the line x equal to mu so we have uh, sketched here two density curves uh, one for mu equal to 80 sigma equal to 15 and another for mu equal to 100 and sigma equal to 5 so when mu is 80 uh, we have this density curve and you can see this is the peak value of this density curve so the function is maximum at mu equal to 80 for this density curve mean is 
so the maximum value of this uh, density curve is attained at x equal to mu which is 80 similarly this is the density curve corresponding to mean mu equal to 100 so mu is known as location parameter changing value of mu uh, we can shift the graph either from one side or the other side uh, for mu equal to 80 we have graph here and for mu equal to 100 graph is shifted horizontally to the right of this density curve so mu locates the uh, density curve or it is the location parameter for the density curve of this probability de probability density function fx now this sigma is known as scale parameter different values of sigma will either compress the curve or will stretch the curve so the more the value of sigma if the value of sigma is larger then the curve will spread out about this mean mu so here for this curve you can see sigma is 15 so there is a more spreadness as compared to this density curve for which sigma equal to 5 so the larger the value of sigma the curve is more spread out about mean mu and the smaller the value of sigma the curve is highly concentrated about mean mu so this uh, mean mu and sigma mu is known as location parameter sigma is known as scale parameter and also mu is nothing but expected value that is mean of x and sigma square is nothing but variance of x or sigma is nothing but standard deviation of x which is square root of variance so for different values of mu and sigma we will have different probability density functions and for each probability density function we can uh, sketch the density curve now if we want to calculate probabilities using this uh, probability density function we know that if f is a probability density function of a random variable x then the probability that x lies in between a and b is given by integral from a to b fx dx but here the function is not easy to integrate or we are not able to integrate this function with the usual methods of calculus so for that uh, we are not going in that way in this uh, way to calculate probabilities probability a less than x less than b cannot be calculated by taking integral of probability density function because integration is not possible by the usual methods of calculus so what we can uh, do is uh, we will define some another random variable which is known as standard normal random variable so we see how standard normal random variable is defined so before that we take uh, this note if capital X is normally distributed with parameters mu and sigma square then if we define y new random variable y equal to a times x plus b where a and b are constants then y equal to ax plus b is also a normal random variable with parameters a into mu plus b and a square into sigma square so if mu is the mean of x then a into mu plus b is mean of y and if sigma square is variance of x then a square times sigma square is variance of y so this we can prove but we are not going into the details of the proof so using this note we can define standard normal random variable so suppose we have normal random variable x 
with parameters mu and sigma square then uh, this is another way to write down this note if x is normally distributed with parameters mu and sigma square that is the notation x is normally distributed with parameters mu and sigma square then y is normally distributed with parameters a mu plus b and a square sigma square where y equal to ax plus b so now suppose we have capital x which is a normal random variable with mean mu and sigma square and we define new run new variable capital z equal to x minus mu over sigma this i can rewrite as 1 over sigma times x plus minus mu upon sigma i am writing in this form a into x plus b where capital a is 1 over sigma capital b is minus mu over sigma so we have written capital Z in this form A into X plus B because we know that if X is a normal random variable AX plus B is also a normal random variable with parameters A mu plus B and A square sigma square so here Z is 1 over sigma X plus minus mu over sigma where capital A is 1 over sigma and capital B is minus mu over sigma so therefore z is a normal random variable with parameters a into mu plus b and a square sigma square but a is 1 over sigma b is minus mu over sigma so if we put these values a into mu and a is 1 over sigma so we have a into mu equal to mu over sigma and value of b is minus mu over sigma similarly a square is 1 over sigma square into sigma square so we can see this is going to be 0 and this is 1 so therefore z is a normal random variable with parameters 0 and 1 that is x is, z is a normal random variable whose mean is 0 and variance is 1 so this z equal to x minus mu over sigma is said to be standard or unit normal random variable so the standard or unit normal random variable is a normal random variable with mean equal to 0 and variance equal to 1 and the normal distribution uh, with mean equal to 0 and sigma equal to 1 is called the standard normal distribution and the standard normal random variable is denoted by capital Z and its PDF is given by f of Z equal to 1 over square root of 2 pi e to the power minus Z square by 2 uh, this PDF is obtained from this uh, PDF of X by taking x equal to mu by taking mu equal to 0 and sigma equal to 1 okay. because z is a normal random variable with mean equal to 0 and sigma equal to 1 so if we put mu equal to 0 sigma equal to 1 we will have minus one half times x square so fx equal to minus one half x square over sigma into square root of 2 pi so that is the pdf of normal random variable f of z equal to 1 upon square root of 2 pi e to the power minus z square by 2 and the graph of f of z or the density curve of f of z is called the standard normal curve and because its mean is 0 it will be symmetric about y axis the cumulative distribution function of z is given by probability z less than or equal to z equal to minus infinity to z f of u du and 
this uh, CDF of standard normal random variable is denoted by capital Phi of Z. So here we have shown the graph of standard normal curve. Mu is 0 and variance is 1. So it is, a, it is also a bell shaped curve with parameters mu equal to 0, sigma equal to 1. The maximum value is at mu equal to 0. And this is the CDF of this standard normal random variable. So it is given by minus infinity to z f of z dz. And we know that this integral is nothing but area under the graph of f of z from minus infinity to z or area to the left of z which is upper limit. So it is shown graphically here this blue shaded area is nothing but value of phi of z which is nothing but probability that capital Z is less than or equal to Z. Now we are not able to integrate this also but luckily we are having val table values of this CDF of standard normal random variable Z. So using those table values we are able to calculate probabilities of this type. So in the next lecture we are going to discuss how to calculate probabilities using standard normal random variable. So I hope you like this lecture. Thank you very much.